hey, so let me show you how you can connect your Airtable account to your Make account. So the first thing you want to do is just in any scenario, either uh, start with a blank scenario or just uh, click that plus icon and add any Airtable action, for example, search records. And then if you don't have a connection here, it will show up uh, and ask you to ask and, and add a new connection. And what you want to do is click, click that add button here, connection type, and then select token or key. All right. And then over here in your Airtable account, you will go to your account. And then down here, you have go to developer hub. And here you should have a button called create a token. You just want to click create new token. Give it any name. Uh, more importantly, add scopes. So you can just basically add all of the scopes here. Um, it doesn't really matter. So I've added all the scopes. And another thing that's important is add a base down here. Click this and then select all current and future bases in this workplace. Then hit create token. And make sure to copy this token that you get here into your um, clipboard. And go back over to your make account and paste that token into that field here and click save. And now when you click this base field here, the bases that you have in your, make, in your Airtable account should show up. So, and another thing you can do is when you're back in your Airtable account, if I've sent you an Airtable template for you to copy, what you can do is click the link that I sent you. That will, op that will open up the Airtable template for you to copy. And towards the top left, there should be a button called copy the space. Here it's in German. With you, it will probably be in English. So just click this button once and it will ask you to copy this space into your Airtable account. And then it should show up in your Airtable account with the same name and the same um, columns that I've created uh, in my template. All right. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.